What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the Jesse Speaks podcast. This is my beautiful wife, Tierra, and we're going to be talking about having faith and being able to defend yourself in a world of social media where everyone's shooting knives, guns, arrows, whatever they got to destroy to destroy you, you know, mentally, physically, spiritually. So we're going to just show you guys some of the things that are happening in the world as opposed to some of the things that even I face on my own TikTok channel uh, when it comes to just negative comments. And uh, let's just dive right in. So you had somebody you were checking out on what TLC? Yeah, so <laughs> I came across an Instagram video. Um, TLC is a thousand pound sisters. So one of the sisters was um, basically distraught beside herself completely. There was a clip of her talking, explaining about how her fans saw a cockroach on her YouTube channel when she was shooting a YouTube video. And it happened, ironically, that there was a cockroach in the background of that video also. The second interview. Yeah. So they completely, it's not an interview. It was just a clip of the show. They completely destroyed her. She said that she was so upset by it. It completely destroyed her. Like she just wanted to give up. I mean, it was funny. I'm not going to lie. It was funny. You know, ironically, having the cockroach in the background. but Reappear. Make an entrance again. Yes, but... To see somebody so negatively affected by people's comments, I just, I guess I just don't understand. I guess being a Christian, I'm not affected by those things. You know, you're not as affected by those things. No. People are always going to say what they want to say. People are always going to feel how they want to feel. And even if there wasn't a cockroach in the background, even if it was perfect, somebody's going to say something. Somebody's going to look for something. And they, in that moment, they just happen to find the biggest thing possible that can help right. shut her down. In uh, and, that the other, and the other thing, too, is that whenever you're making videos like that and you're on air, like the chances of you actually making a blooper or making a mistake or something like that, you're literally recording your moments and humans are just flawed inside and out. Like I was saying before, like even if I made a video now and I said some things 20 years from now, someone's going to pull up that old video again. Meanwhile, in that 20 years, I've changed personally and, you know, I've evolved and I've developed and matured. And then someone's going to be like, oh, yeah, but you said that 20 years ago. And it's just like, and that's who you are today. It's like, that's not true. It's crazy how that goes. Yeah. But I think we lose track and think that if we are an influencer, or if we make videos or if we if we have a podcast that we have to be absolutely perfect. Yeah. And that nothing's going to happen. Somebody's not going to say anything about me because I'm just so perfect in the videos and living up to a perfect standard, as we talked about before in mm. another video about perfection. That's never going to happen. It's, it's not practical. It's not possible. Yeah. It's not that it's not practical. It's not possible. It's, not. it's, it's never going to happen. There's always going to be something there. Who knows? There might be lint in my hair right now. You see what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. you're never going to be perfect. And yeah. living up to that standard is going to break you down more than it's going to break them down every time every time yeah well because they just quickly write a little comment they feel good about themselves like psychologically they just want to like quick do it like a quick zing maybe they're having something happen in their life and they're sad or they're upset and they're like oh wait this guy looks like he's got it all together let me just find something wrong with him and hit him with it yeah and then i'm dipping out because as soon as i combat it or try to talk about it in the comment section usually it's just a laughing emoji and then they disappear with no actual like substance and that just goes to show the type of character they are yeah and then they're you know there's nothing really of substance in them well is that's it, exactly interestingly yeah. enough i mean the bible is very clear about foolish men and women this includes women i think when you have people that are so negative you know what it happened to me the other day i mean why am I not talking about this? I mean, I literally was asking a Christian influencer a question on her social media account oh, on I Facebook. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I was asking her a question. Simple. I was very nice about it. I was very cordial. I just wanted a better understanding. You know, something I was thinking, considering about talking about on our podcast. And this woman basically attacked me mm -hmm. <laughs> and said, oh, Oh, it was about Botox. Oh, so you can't afford Botox. So is that why you must be so bored in your life? And I'm like, whoa, right. you know, all these things that are entirely untrue about me. Mm -hmm. I'm not insecure. I'm really not. I'm overweight. You know, I dress differently. I like different. I like to look different. I like to be different. That, yeah. do, that doesn't bother me. That's cool if you think that I am. So, <laughs> you know, she just wanted to keep going. And then, you know, I'm sitting here. You know, I said, I was like, I'm just as bored as you are writing on my comment. Yeah. You exactly. know, <laughs> like that's 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 the truth. Yeah. We're both here in the same level. here. Yeah. And she just kept going. And I'm just like, you know what? You're right. That's it. Mm -hmm. You're right. Because it's like, what what else could you say? What yeah, else could you, could you say to somebody? Yeah, you're not going to be able to feed into that anyway. Because no. she's, she's empty. 
in yeah. her own self. And and I've never in my whole experience of just being on social media, I've never been able to change or persuade somebody in the comment section. And you never will. And people, when they go on there, they, they're critical and they got all the answers. They got it all figured out. And if you, if you try to slide in with some really good information, they they'll slide care. out real quick, grab something off Google, give you a whole bunch of sources and unload it and just be like, huh, see, wash my hands of this. You're wrong. I'm right. Or they'll just make it's, something out out of thin air. Yeah. And or just, these laughing emojis the whole time yeah you can't you cannot compete with these people no. when there's no logic behind them no and uh, you know as i was saying the bible is very clear about foolish people you know proverbs 14 i'm really starting to love proverbs i mean i know that it's you said that you good. love proverbs but i'm really starting to love proverbs because it's like wow all of this stuff that it talks about it's foolish like, men wise men yep. you know it gives you all of this wisdom it's the same thing so i'm going to read this one from proverbs for Proverbs yeah. 14 real quick. Um, stay away from a foolish man for you will not find knowledge on his lips. You know, Facts. people are like, oh, I'm reading from the Bible. <sighs> it's so vague. <laughs> but let me just hit you with this. <laughs> it's, the, it's the truth. Yeah. In this whole chapter, Proverbs 14, you find so many things. I There wasn't a Bible verse in here that I couldn't apply to this topic. Yeah. You know, I'm just going to hit you with another one right here. A fool's talk brings a rod to his back, but the lips of the wise protect them. You know, I mean, there's you can't pick a Proverbs out of here that ain't true. It's like... Yeah. Which is probably why they don't want to read it. And that's probably why they hate it so much, because it's literally a reflection of them. They've probably never read it. But my yeah. point is, is that if it's not true, then you know it's coming from a foolish person's mouth. Yeah. Why pertain it to you at all? Why absorb it? Why absorb that ne negative energy? Why even no listen to. to it? There's no there's no reason. No. And my point is, is that the girl from, you know, the sister from a thousand pound sisters mm -hmm. is on television, is famous. Has everything going for her and she's listening to people, foolish people yep. who have nothing to do with her life, yep. have nothing to do with her show. I, I, I mean, uh, just to dive in there a little deeper, too, I feel like there's some people in this world before you become an influencer, you do anything on social media or the Internet, period. You need to have some alone time and figure out yourself to understand how people are psychologically first. So whenever they do start acting out like that or start saying weird things that are just mean and manipulative or just negative, you got to have some kind of internal defense to go even further than that is that, you know, I'm, I'm a barber and I've been doing it for 13 years. So I understand how people are one on one. When I speak to somebody one on one as opposed to on the internet, they're two different people. Nobody even talks the same. Everyone's on the same page and everyone just wants to get by in life. And, it's, you know, they work in a nine to five job. We're all struggling equally. But on the internet, everyone has something to say. You know, we used to call them keyboard warriors back in the MySpace days. Well, that's because they are. They are hiding behind the veil of the internet. Yep. And yeah, that's, that's exactly the point is that they think that these people are never going to be face to face with them. I, and that's exactly something that I think about when people say, you know, nasty comments or something. It's like, you're never going to see me. I'm never going to see you. Yep. And it's like, I know you wouldn't say that to my face. Yeah, <laughs> I know you not. wouldn't. Like, they never will. No, they never will. And no. they wouldn't. And you don't, you know, people don't go to their jobs and say how they even truly feel. Yeah. People don't go to their parents and say how do they how they truly feel, but people are so open to say negative things and draw out hate and anger out of people, and I just I just don't get it. I no, really don't. I don't get it either. And I was I was watching the other day this guy because uh, I always try to continuously educate myself when it comes to like YouTube and understanding people psychologically. And he's he's known as the YouTube editor, meaning that he like he works with like Logan Paul and all these really top big you know top celebrities. YouTubers, he does all the editing for them. He was saying that in all of his years and getting millions and billions of views and seeing millions of comments go through, wh whenever it comes to dealing with these type of people that you need to just, you can either respond to them, you can ignore them, or you could, um, you know, take it in basically. And he basically just said, ignore it. That's the best thing you could ever do. If so, if you're an influencer, or you're trying to be one, you see those comments, just let it roll. Don't even don't even pay it any mind. Don't Absolutely. give it any energy. Don't do nothing like that. Look for all the good ones. Love on those people. And, and the, those are your real followers, by the way. The people who are writing the negative stuff, they're going to be dipping out next week and the next day or so. And but are they, though? Let's let's talk about that right now. You know, that's a good point that you made. They those, might, they those, might are linger. Your, those are your followers, yeah. the people that are for you until you upset them. Until you upset them. That's true, too. Yeah. So that's the thing about a fan base. No, I don't believe in having a true fan base if you have a fan base you have a fan base does that really matter 
to me individually, no. I love the support. I love people who are positive. I love all that stuff. But in reality, that only goes as far as long as they are happy with you. Yeah. In reality, because obviously, let's bring up the time a moment ago when we were making a video. and About marriage. About our marriage and about our thoughts and how our relationship goes. And one of your followers who was a fan liked every one of your videos until that video. Yep. And then he said... Or she said, you know, I liked everything that you've done up until this point. And she's just like, I'm not, I'm not too sure of how I, how I feel about you now. And it's just like, um, the same person. And same person. And, you know, let's be honest. Are you going to agree with a hundred percent of what everybody thinks or, yeah, or that, somebody that, thinks? No, you're no. not going to. Are you going to like their opinions a hundred percent of the time? Absolutely not. So why is it that it takes time and it takes effort and it takes a while to gain people's trust and gain people's likes and yep. gain people's fan base. But then on top of it, the one time you do something, you're out, you're out. Yeah. Well, in that, a but that, that's what I feel like a lot of people need to understand in, in general. And that this is why me and you've been in, in a relationship as long as we have, because we understand that the, the principle is not everything is black and white. I know you, but then you got things that I don't like about you, but those little things are not going to make me completely disgusted with you and be yeah. done with you forever, forever, ever and ever, you in know, an like instant. in an instant, it's like, no, I just agree to disagree with you on some things. Maybe you like certain music that I don't like, and I'm not going to be in favor of you 24-7. Everything that you do is perfect. Oh, I know that's, that's not, true. That's not reality. And that's not reality with anybody. Any friend that you have, they're going to say one thing wrong. They might even slip up and say well, maybe a joke you didn't find funny. <laughs> And that'll, and that'll be it for you. Like, that's it. It's like, that's the kind of like generation now that we're in. So fragile minded. So it's, fragile. The it's one crazy. comment somebody leaves on your account, you're breaking apart. Yep. The one thing somebody doesn't like about you, you're breaking apart. Or yep. the fact that you don't like somebody off of one thing and you're breaking apart. And it's, I'm done with it. I'm not that person. I'm not no. going <laughs> to. And, and, and it's crazy too, because, you know, I started this whole TikTok channel and it's almost at 200,000 followers right now. In three months, all of this happened. God the glory, 100%. But it also shows me too is that I was just being 100% real, just real with myself, the real with the content I like, real with the information. And people latched on to it because they feel the same way. And that's obviously why you would follow somebody because you kind of like have some kind of relation to them, right? So yeah. it makes you want to follow their content. But at the same note, I am also, I've told myself, and you know this too, because we're very raw and just real about everything is that I don't mind losing followers. In fact, on my analytics, I lose a hundred followers every single day. Yeah. I was just about to ask you that. But I gain 800 every day too. So, you know, I'm, I'm about netting about 700 of them, but yeah. it still goes to show that people still will fall off even when you're just being real with yourself. So the best thing you can do, and this is what this whole topic's about, is to like defend yourself in a world of social media against the negativity is just be you. Put what you have to put out there into the world that God put on your heart and just go for it. Yeah. There's Win or billions, lose. billions of people out there. You're not going to make them all happy. No, absolutely not. And I don't, and I'm not, I'm not trying to. I, no. I never wanted to try. <laughs> no. It's just being honest with you guys. Sorry if you felt that way. You can unfollow whatever. And follow. We're, we're going to, we're going to just keep going forward. So, um, thank you for your time, you know, but <laughs> it's, it's the reality though. And, and that gives me that self defense too, where I'm like, I just don't, I yeah. don't care. Absolutely. So let us know what you think. Let us know what you do to combat those negative comments. Let us know how you respond. Yeah. I mean, even if you don't respond good, I'd like to hear. Like, I know sometimes, like, when I get a negative comment, my first reaction is to be like, what? Like, freak out and, and write a billion words in a paragraph. But you don't have to, like, scale it back and be like, yeah. oh, you know what? I'm a Christian. <laughs> like, and not yeah. only that, I mean, you're, you're the bigger person. And if you don't put that energy in that, you'll put your energy in something else better and more productive. So absolutely that's uh that's our thoughts on it thank you guys for uh tuning in